Hi there, everybody. Let's jump right in and learn our brand new glued sound. All right. I can read and write glued sounds. You can say that. I can identify a base word, a suffix, and glued sounds in a word. So I remember when we first learned how to just write letters. Now you've come so far and you're learning about different parts of words. You're sounding out words that are like five letters long. So that's really awesome and really something to be proud of. You're on your way to being amazing readers and writers. So get your pencils and papers ready. Our first word today is songs. I like to sing songs. You can say songs. Now, I'm gonna tap it out and you can do what I do afterwards, but watch me write it before you write it since this is a brand new glued sound, okay? So here we go, let's tap it out. Songs, songs, your turn. Yeah, so first I hear s, that's s, snake, s. And I hear the sound that says ong. And that's gonna be our brand new glued sound. So ong is gonna be O, N, G, ong, s, ong, s, songs. Cause we're not talking about one sound, song, we're talking about more than one song, okay? So underline that S, that's our suffix and circle your new glued sound. Now you can write it and pause this video if you need some more time. Songs and our glued sound is ong, O-N-G. Next, we're gonna write the word gongs. We can tap it out. G, ong, s, gongs, kind of a tricky one. First I hear g, g, game, g. Next I hear ong, that's our new glued sound, coming back again, ong, o, n, g, g, ong, s, gongs, you can say that one more time, yeah, and underline your suffix because it's the sound that comes at the end of the word, and circle your brand new glued sound. Ong. Next, we're gonna write the word tongs. You can say tongs. Tongs are like the things that you grab things with. Tongs. T -ong -s tongs. Your turn. First, I hear t. T top. T. Next, I hear ong. That's O N G T -ong -s Tongs Underline our suffix and circle our what? What's it called? A glued sound. Yeah, it's because all those letters come together to make one sound, kind of like a digraph, but it has more than two letters in it, doesn't it? All right, last but not least, we are going to write the word longs. You can say longs. Good. Longs. Longs. Your turn. Good. First, I hear O. That's L, lamp. O, then I hear ong, O, N, G, ong, s, o. that's a crazy S, let me try that again, longs, <clears throat> o, ong, s, longs, and you can underline, <clears throat> Excuse me. You can underline your suffix and you can circle 
your glued sound. Hmm. And you can pause this video and tell me why is it called a glued sound? I know we just talked about it. It is called a glued sound because a glued sound because it is a sound where more than one letter come together and make one sound, okay? All right, so our sentence, oops, let's see. I need to double check what our sentence is today. All right, our sentence is, the songs make me happy. So, the, T-H-E spells the, and I'm going to start with the uppercase T, the songs, I know we wrote songs here in black, so I'll write songs, songs, O-N-G for that ong sound. Make, make is a word with a silent E, mm. and then the long A, because A says its name, A, K, K, E, and this silent E at the end of make, makes A say its name, M, ache, make. The songs make me, M, E, me, 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 M, oh, <laughs> some technical difficulties, M, E, the songs make me happy. Okay, first I hear that's gonna be an H. Next I hear A. A, apple, A. A, P. That's a P. And happy is a tricky word. It has two P's. H, A, P, P, Y. Happy, happy, happy. All right. H A P P Y, and that is a word that we use a lot. So we'll put an exclamation point. Good. The songs make me happy. Okay. So go back and circle your glued sound ong and underline your suffix of that word. Good. That was awesome. You were ballin'. Let's do the ballin' cheer. All in. I'll see you next time.